Nature, one of the most powerful forces that we know. As a species, we are turning our minds finally to harnessing that power, whether it be through solar, wind, or hydroelectric. There is, however, one piece of nature which we're not quite harnessing properly yet, and that is how to power the biomechanical machines that we live in, our bodies. What on earth am I doing on a boat? I hear you ask. I'm here to bring you to the birthplace of number one rosemary water, a small town called Acciaroli, just south of Naples, in Italy. So come with me and explore this first step on my journey to becoming nature's Superman. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> I get to sail to a beautiful thousand-year-old Italian village and discover what it is about. And rosemary is so embedded here in the culture, it's considered the norm. But for me, it's still a discovery. And I find that incredibly exciting. What's that? Number one, rosemary water are tapping into the power of herbs. Herbs have the ability to make our bodies stronger, smarter, more efficient versions of ourself. Hi, Ari. Hi. Welcome to Acciaroli. This is my village. Thank you very much. Tell us about your town. Yeah, my town is uh, very special for me, but I am the mayor. Of course. So every, everything in Acciaroli is special for me. Many people talk about Acciaroli and uh, uh, if you want, you can discover a small village was built a thousand years ago. A thousand years ago. Yeah. Acciaroli and Cilento is very famous because the people live long. But the, the most important thing is not only long, well. Right? Okay, yes. So they live long and they live well. One on eight people live more than 19 years old. More than 90? Yeah. And my nonna, when they moved, they changed Okay, yeah. now, does that have anything to do with this? Yes, if you walk around the Chiroli, right, you can find the rosemary everywhere. Okay, it's all, all grown wild around the village. Yeah, but the rosemary is one of the most important reasons for live long and well. Okay, so it's it's in the food, it's in the yeah. diet here. Okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna go explore the village a bit, if I may, and um, find some rosemary and find my friends. Yeah. Thank you so much. See you next time. It's been a real pleasure. Yeah. Alla prossima. Bye. Ciao. Buongiorno. I'm now going to introduce you to the founder of Number One Rosemary Water and see what else we can find out. So, just a quick introduction. I was looking for an environmentally responsible water and David had a water. I think when we met Henry, we realised that we were, we were going to get on with him. You know, he's an A-list Hollywood movie star, but he's sort of... I guess become a friend and we feel like when we're working it's like a family you know we're, we're in this together and but he is Superman but he just feels really nice. What is rosemary water? We make uh, a drink with fresh rosemary extracts and water. Okay pretty simple. Why rosemary? Why Acciaroli? What led you to this village in particular? My wife and I, Bonita, mm -hmm. um, were reading an article in the newspaper okay. and it said fairly sensational article no, what? not the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Want to live to 100. OK. Eat rosemary. Yeah. And we looked at the article and we said, wow, note to self, let's eat more rosemary. OK. It's awfully difficult to eat in the sort of amount that these wonderful villagers are eating. Mm -hmm. So we thought, let's drink it. Right, what's the next step? Did you just stick some rosemary in a glass of water and leave it overnight? <laughs> I wish it were that simple, my friend. <laughs> okay. From the word go, we wanted a drink with no sugar no additives, no plastic. This was sort of our kind of halo effect, if you like. Let's sit down, let's grab some food. Let's do that. And meet Benita, and okay. then uh, we'll talk about it some more. Great stuff. Cool. Okay. There she is. <laughs> Hello. I think we have soul in this, and then with Henry, who's got so much soul and so much integrity, I think it's a beautiful relationship. So, what is special about Acciaroli is that they actually use are they actually an Acciaroli? <laughs> <laughs> I quite like that. Yeah, I quite, I quite like, like it. Like it. We'll they, use it again. they actually use rosemary in all the food and the cooking. Yep. 
The villagers here eat the rosemary. They okay. put it in their food. It's clean, it's pure, and that's right. what we wanted yeah. to recreate. Okay, so if you eat this, this, this sprig of if rosemary, the stalk of, and all, yeah. that's, you'll get the same thing yeah, as, say, absolutely. drinking But it's this. quite a difficult herb to eat. Yeah. And in our <laughs> fabulous bottle, um, you, it's about that much of a sprig. Of so we, wanted, we, we just wanted to bottle what the village had, yeah. because we knew we wouldn't be able to be sitting there eating rosemary every day. But the village now has become a, a huge part of our lives, because it's our, it's our backstory. Um, and for such a wonderful, beautiful, but relatively unassuming village, um, it holds a huge secret. We know about people here, one in eight live uh, to the age of 90 plus, yep. healthily. Um, healthily. Mm -hmm. What is it in rosemary that is good for us? The real, really heavyweight one is rosemary acid, which is a really powerful anti-inflammatory. Where people live to um, sort of you know, old age quite healthily, right. there tends to be some kind of anti-inflammatory in their diet. Okay. I am of an age now. I'm 68, and I don't mind saying that. I'm very proud of my age. My husband's 21 years younger, so this is hopefully going to give me a more time with my darling husband. Mm -hmm. So I said, let's, let's let's get rosemary water, and you know, sort of googling away, trying to find it, and I just couldn't find anywhere in the world that made it, which okay. was. A, bit odd. Um, so I thought, I said to, <laughs> to Bonita, I'm going to make rosemary water. She looks at me and says, okay. Yeah. <laughs> then it got a little bit more serious because then when I went to the drinks company and said, right, we're going to make rosemary water. And they said, okay, why? I said, it's on the story of the village and all this wonderful um, uh, uh, the reason we're here. And they went, that's a really good idea. The only thing is you're going to need an extract, not a flavour. Okay. Most drinks are made and of flavour. And that flavors. was a huge yeah. moment. That was a big extract, moment because it turned from something that was, let's make a relatively uncomplicated drink, mm -hmm. to let's make a really complicated drink. Right, a botanical drink. A yeah. botanical drink. Botanical said, science yeah. then started to kick in. Okay. And that's when I came home and I said, this is going to be actually quite complicated and probably quite expensive because nobody's done it before. The bottle has to be sprayed. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, you can't it's make it. It's not wrapped in plastic. No. Yeah. It's not wrapped in plastic. There's no plastic. Everything yeah. is completely recyclable. It is environmentally responsible, it's ethical, and it is good for you too. And David and Benita, to them, that's extraordinarily important, that this is a product for the future of the planet as well as for our own bodies. The next part of the story was we, we knew um, we knew the village, we knew the inspiration, we had the wonderful bottle, we'd extracted everything. I wanted to do clinical trials on our Ooh. extract. I, I felt this was really, I felt it was yes. really important that we could hold up some science, if you like. Right. So we went to um, uh, Dr. Mark Moss at Northumbria University. He's okay. relatively famous as you can be in rosemary circles. He'd been studying it for 12 years. He'd okay. been on the BBC. So we did the trials and we successfully proved that, you know, just 20 minutes after drinking this rosemary water shot, your memory and focus improved by up to 15%, which is, you know, it's a quite, quite a big range of, of improvement. And that was peer reviewed and, and finally published, um, which now it becomes science. And that was for us quite an important part of the, of the process. I think it's really important that people can trust what we're saying because it's that is the truth of, of this whole journey that we're on. The scientists identified a, a couple of compounds actually, so cineol 1,8, yep. rosemary acid, mm -hmm. um, some form of glucosamine. What, what is glucosamine? Well if you have arthritis right. you should try to take glucosamine. Okay. Um, and the it's people in the village, choice. according to the scientists, they, they, they didn't suffer from a lot of arthritis. Okay. So it's a naturally forming compound inside rosemary. Okay, so okay. studies are saying that Yes. anti-inflammatory properties yeah. of something yeah. will assist in living longer yeah. well. In this village, it's, it's, it's the rosemary. Right. So when the scientists were sort of, you know, looking at the village, studying it, the high density of the, the, these people, um, they, they, they thought the differentiator was rosemary. Yeah. Okay, so it has an anti-inflammatory effect, yes. which is also good for arthritis, but yes. great for living longer and living well. Yes. It also increases one's cognitive ability. Yeah. And how it does that is because it oxygenates the blood to the brain. Right. You have two arteries here pushing okay. blood up to the brain. Yeah. It's like a turbocharger for the brain. I'm going to get up and uh, say goodbye. Thank you very much. Great pleasure. Good to see you. One of the things that resonated the most with me, with David and Benita, are their characters and personality. They not only clearly in a loving relationship, and there's integrity in their relationship, which translates through to everything they do. They're fun. They're enjoying life. It's not just a massive corporate move to, you know, 
make a cash grab. It's, it's all about what they believe in. It's about they drink this. They actually made it for themselves first and they went, hold on a second, this is a great idea. Let's, let's make it for everyone. I hope you've enjoyed learning about this and I hope you join me on the rest of my journey to discover all the other super herbs of the world. To your health.